everyone, this is Zimmer Erin and welcome to a build. With Today we are going to be doing the Crazy Cat Cottage. So this is for the Crazy Cat Lady I made before. If you did not watch that video, you probably should watch it first so you understand the general idea I am going for. I will leave that in the tags above. If not, you can yell at me and if not, you can just of course search my channel. So if I sound a little bit less than enthusiastic, it's because I literally am doing this back to back where I just recorded this voiceover because I'm a goof and I accidentally deleted it. I don't know, you have to like hit done on my, I, I, I do it on iMovie and you have to hit done and instead I just hit like, I just hit back or something and like it got rid of it, but it's all good because I had a lot of noise interruptions during this voiceover. Like I had like the phone ringing, I had screeching, it just wasn't good. I was like, oh, it'll be fine. Honestly guys, it's probably better than I'm re-recording this, but I'm like, ugh. So, what am I going for in this belt? Well, of course, she's a crazy cat lady in case you guys don't know. You to totally check out that, ch that video rather, not channel. I hope that's not a channel. That'd be scary. Can you guys imagine? They're probably, never mind. There's probably tons of crazy cat lady channels. I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't want to know about them. So I am just trying to do a build that does fit into a Brindleton Bay, but at the same time, it pays a little ode to her seven cats. Yes, seven. Not one, not two. You know, I had to give her seven cats. No, technically, one of her animals is a baby raccoon. I made it a baby after I did the cast because it was so cute. However, she thinks it's a cat, so that's what counts, right? And arguably, it is basically a cat. I wish it acted differently, but it doesn't. So, I also wanted to just kind of dig into cats and dogs material because this is very new for me, guys. I got cats and dogs for my birthday. I also got Get Famous. And a couple days later, I surrendered and bought Parenthood, even though, unlike the other two, it was not on sale. Because, guys, as you guys told me, you need to get Parenthood, and I didn't believe you. Well, I did believe you, actually. But I was like, well, I really want two expansion packs. I'd rather have, like, the Worlds, and it's a better deal because it's on sale. Unfortunately, I was under the stupid illusion that maybe cats and dogs would come with counters because of all the rustic furniture, which absolutely, absolutely, I absolutely love. No, of course not. No counters. What is up with The Sims and no counters? We have tons of toilets. I think I was having a conversation with someone like this the other day. Like, I, everybody's had conversations like this, right? Like, The Sims has an obsession with toilets. We have so many toilets to choose from. Even I do with my limited packs. And we have, like, no counters. So I was limited to base game counters. I did use a little bit of CC. I'm not gonna lie. Like, for the windows, I don't remember what else is CC. Maybe the cabinets are CC. Yeah, I don't, I don't honestly know. But I tried to use as little CC as possible. Again, I don't know what that stupid noise was. I swear, every time I do a voiceover, there's some kind of noise. <laughs> but I'm not re-recording this again. So, what did I do for the build? I tried to go with a little bit of a more kind of subtle cat vibe, if such a thing is possible. So, by subtle, I mean decor on all the walls everywhere, right? So I tried to make it so everywhere you looked, it was obvious that this person loved cats and it was obvious that the cats were the theme of the house and the center of her entire life. However, I didn't go super crazy because if you guys haven't seen it, which, uh, uh, yeah, it, it's bad, but I trashed Coda Cake's house. Coda Cake's is a wonderful person. If you guys are not subscribed to her channel, just a little shout out to her randomly in this video because why not? You totally should because she's awesome, but I did destroy her beautiful build, okay? And I used these really garish, nauseating colors, and I think I just needed a break. I think we all needed a break, okay? So this is a trash, crazy build, but like way down, so I don't want the crazy. One thing I will say, okay, so if you saw the beginning, the roof is a very odd shape. It's like the T-shaped, and it's a little lopsided. I didn't do that on purpose. I just can't do roofs. So I say, right, every single build I have, I have to have like a warning for someone that not all is well, not all is right in this house. So if say, for instance, Nancy Langrab, who I don't really care about, but if she was walking down the street, she would know, okay, it may sort of look normal, right, with like the colors, and it may look sort of like it belongs in Brindle to pay, but clearly there's something wrong because someone did not bother to make the roof correctly. And in case you guys were also wondering, which you probably weren't, why you didn't see me build the actual structure, 
trust me, I built it. I just didn't want to show it on camera because it was it was it was awful. It was humiliating even for me, even for someone who doesn't care that they, you know. I think what was happening was I wanted to do something different with the roof. And honestly, the only thing I can do with a roof is like put it put a single roof just straight up. That's literally all I can do. So honestly, guys, what is all that annoying noise in the background? Ugh. I swear, someone is so trying to sabotage my voiceover today. <laughs> but in case you guys didn't already look at this close enough, there are cat beds as much as I could. There's honestly not enough cat beds. Right now I'm doing the move objects cheat because I always swore that I would not like move objects or I wouldn't care about it rather. But guys, you builders were right. You builders were right. Even Aaron needs to move objects on. However, there's a big downside to it. Do you guys notice something wrong with it? Look at the bathroom. Leave in the comments below if you know what's wrong with it, okay? The problem with Move Objects On is it allows you to place things in the most stupid areas, and I didn't even notice this until we get to the screenshots, and I don't even know if I include a screenshot of it. But yes, leave in the comments below if you notice what's very wrong with the house. Hint, it has something to do with the bathroom. It's very scary. But you know what? Maybe she just doesn't notice. Maybe she's so busy taking care of her seven cats, she just doesn't notice that her bathroom is not super functional. <laughs> oh my gosh. So I do like some parts of this build. I really like, uh, this is my kind of thing, like the rustic the rustic furniture. Like I, I apologize in advance if I use it over and over and over again because I'm in love with it, okay? But clearly there's some problems with the build and off. So there might be a problem. I have no clue why I did it that way. <laughs> there might be a problem with some space with the seven cats. You know, it's gonna be a little crowded for her, but she really loves her cats. Oh, the last thing I did want to tell you about is there's gonna be like a koi pond. I think that's what it's called in the front of the house. It is so that the cats, if they were real fish, basically the cats would be kind of surfing for the fish and I do apologize seriously that was my phone again I swear guys I do know that this voiceover was quite possibly I say this a lot but this is quite possibly my worst voiceover ever but I can't do anything about it like everybody's trying to sabotage me my phone's trying to sabotage me my email's starting to sabotage me there's people outside trying to work so I think I'm just gonna let it go now okay because then you can just watch the rest of the build without me talking about it let me know in the comments below if you think it's crazy enough for you, if you're interested in learning more about her and her crazy cat lifestyle. And yeah, I don't know what else to say. This voiceover has been disastrous. We're just gonna pretend like it was fine. I hope you're having a great day. And if you are new here, I apologize. I was gonna say subscribe to my channel, but like honestly, cannot recommend. <laughs> okay guys, I'll let you go. Bye.